So, here's a joke for you. Why don't we ever tell secrets on a game of Tetris? Because they disappear too quickly. ba dum tis. Now let's dive straight into the incredible tale of Blue Scooty, the 13-year-old wonder kid who took the gaming world by storm. This young Tetris titan in an epic display of skill and strategy did the unthinkable. Yes, folks, after a whopping 34 years, he became the first person to conquer the NES version of Tetris. Imagine the game of Tetris as an insurmountable mountain with its peak hidden in the clouds. This peak is what gamers refer to as the kill screen a level of difficulty so high that it causes the game to crash. Reaching this elusive kill screen is the ultimate challenge for any Tetris player. And our boy Blue Scooty, he scaled that mountain and planted his flag right at the top. Now here's the cherry on top. As a reward for his astonishing feat, he got a surprise virtual meet and greet with the creator of Tetris himself. Talk about a fan moment, right? And you thought your high school achievements were cool. Now let's dive deeper into the realm of Tetris. No, not to play, but to appreciate the genius of a 13-year-old. And no, I haven't lost my marbles. Yet. You see, beating Tetris isn't just about clearing lines or scoring points. It's a marathon. A test of endurance, precision, and strategy. It's a game that's been around for over three decades, and yet only a handful of players have truly mastered it. Enter the classic Tetris World Championship where players battle it out on the original NES version of the game. The objective? Reaching the infamous kill screen, a level of difficulty so high it causes the game to crash. Now that's what I call a challenge. This is where the young prodigy, Blue Scooty, made his mark. Not only did he reach the kill screen, but he went beyond reaching level 255, a feat previously thought impossible. It's like reaching the end of a rainbow and finding another rainbow. But the triumph doesn't end there. Blue Scooty's journey is one of continuous growth and relentless pursuit of excellence. He's an active participant in Tetris competitions and tournaments, even clinching third place at the World Championship. And did I mention he holds the world record for Tetris on Game Boy? Talk about a Tetris Titan. Now consider this. While each Tetris player is alone in their game, the triumphs are shared. Each victory, each new level reached, is built on decades of shared knowledge among Tetris players. It's a testament to the power of community, the spirit of competition, and the beauty of a game that continues to challenge and inspire even after 34 years. So, while you were busy leveling up in Candy Crush, Blue Scooty was making history. Talk about setting the bar high. If you thought beating Tetris was a one-time fluke, think again. After Willis Blue Scooty Gibson's groundbreaking victory, the Tetris world was shaken once more. Not one, but two more players, Fractal 161 and P1 Salandi, also managed to reach the dreaded kill screen. These folks didn't just beat Tetris, they crushed it, and then some. Just when you thought getting to the kill screen was the pinnacle of Tetris achievement, we're introduced to the ultimate challenge avoiding all kill screens until level 255. Yes, you heard it right, 255. That's like running a marathon, then deciding to climb Everest, just for kicks. But this is what makes Tetris so captivating. It's not just a game, it's a test of mental agility, a measure of perseverance, and a testament to the indomitable human spirit. And let's face it, there's something oddly satisfying about watching those geometric blocks fall perfectly into place. It's the digital equivalent of popping bubble wrap. The dedication of Tetris players is truly something to behold. They've created an entire community around this game, sharing strategies, celebrating victories, and supporting each other through those inevitable game over screens. It's a fascinating subculture, a world where the simple act of arranging blocks can make you a superstar. And let's not forget the age old question, what happens when you beat Tetris? Well, if you're lucky, you might just get to meet the creator of the game. That's right, Willis got to meet Alexei Pajitnov, the man behind this iconic game. It's like a rock star meeting their biggest fan, except with more tetrominoes and less guitar smashing. And there you have it, folks. The tale of a 13-year-old, a game from the 80s, and a victory that took 34 years. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some Tetris to play. Or maybe I'll just stick to Candy Crush.